Hey, 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 welcome. If you are new here, welcome back. If you have been here before, you lovely darling, thank you for coming back. Today we are doing an Etsy binder stuffing. Look at all this, you guys. Whoop, woo! Um, we're gonna get some money into that Etsy binder and we have some actual cash for some other fun. I'm so excited. Let's start with what is going into the Etsy binder. So we have one, two, three, four hundred. 500, 600, 650, 670, 690, 710, 730, 750, 770, 790, 800, 810, 20, 30, 40, 850, you guys. Whee! Let's get this in here. Ah! Without dropping it everywhere, Freya. Okay, there we go. And we will pop this monies at the back to play with after we've done the responsible part. Okay, so all of this money is coming from my advent calendar sales. Um, this is not all of the money I received from the advent calendar sales. Any of you, um, oh my God, what was I just going to say? <laughs> Yeah, this is not all the money I got from those sales, so I will we'll talk you through it as I go. Um, but materials is getting an extra $290. So this is the amount that I have not yet spent. So I've already spent several hundred dollars on dice and, um, oh, I don't know, just other materials to make up the advent calendars. Like obviously everything needs to be individually wrapped. There will be stickers on things, all that kind of stuff. Um, so now in materials, we have 100, 200, 250, 270, 290, $305. Um, that will cover any extra bits and bobs that I need. And also a big laminate order that I have to do very, very shortly and have not done yet. Uh, postage is getting 80, 50, 60, 70, 80. This will just be to cover like the actual boxes that I'm that I'm going to post things out in, specifically the advent calendars, because I already have a bit of a stockpile of boxes for normal orders and envelopes for normal orders. This is not postage cost. So how much it actually is going to cost me to post out, I have $800 or more. I think it's just over $800 set aside currently um, for actual postage expense. That should cover my current outstanding orders, I hope. Um, it should be enough. So yeah, postage is mean and expensive. <laughs> uh, Canva is just getting 10. So we're getting very, very close to finishing this one, which is very nice. So there's 110 in there now. I'm really hoping to have this funded by the end of the year. It's not due until March, but I just would like it funded ahead of time. Uh, design space is also getting 10 so that now has 50 60 70 80 90 or 100 and this is a color in kind of vibe um, so design space is the software for the Cricut which is what I use to cut vinyl cut out stickers things like that let me just double check oh yeah I did I just had a horrible feeling for a second there that I hadn't hit record which just seems a lot like something I would do. <laughs> uh, Prime is just getting five and we are only a little ways off now having this finished, which is good. So that now has 50 and 60 in there. I think we need 75, I think it is. I hope it is because that's what the tracker says. <laughs> oh, I just ruined that. Budgie buck note. Whoops. Oh well. Should have let it dry for longer. Microsoft is getting 10. Um, so I was paying for this privately out of my own pocket, but I've decided that given that mostly what I use it for is budgie budgets, um, in fact, nearly exclusively what I use it for is budgie budgets, that it should be in here. So I will pay this year's because my subscription is due um like next week so i will pay that out of our um subscriptions envelope in there um but next year it'll come out of here uh up is getting 105 
Um, so each icon is 10, so we're doing 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 105. Um, now that will cover because I've got the rest of this in there already. This will do, this is due in December. YNAB is a budgeting software that I use. I do use it for both um, personal. It's just kind of like an electronic copy of what is in my binders so that I can keep track of what is where. But I mainly use it also for business tracking because then I can make it a lot easier to do my taxes at the end of the year. And I can also use it for like inventory tracking once I actually start building up a bit more inventory for the business rather than just always chasing my tail catching up on orders. Um, PO box is getting 20. Five, 10, 15 and 20. Beautiful. So that now has 70 in there. Just let this dry for a second. I think these, this particular Sharpie is a little bit, it's a little bit slow to dry. Okay. So that one, everything, pretty much everything's getting a bit of love today. Equipment is getting 30. Oh my goodness. All those coloring skills, you guys incredible i should have just called the paper shouldn't i maybe that's what i'll do now <laughs> okay so equipment is getting 30. um i do think i'll probably need to replace the blades on my cricket at some point sooner rather than later um so i just want to make sure i have some money set aside for that How is that still not dry? Oh well, maybe I have to start like leaving them out to the side. Okay, tech, uh, this tracker is from Cara Cash. Um, you will find her on YouTube and also on Etsy, mental blank. Um, so I am using this one. I love that she has um, the Apple Store logo and stuff. I'm gonna use this to save up for some new tech. Um, probably a new ipad so the ipad that i'm currently using to design things on is getting very very old uh, and pretty slow so i would like a new ipad new apple pencil because i have the old ipad pro old apple pencil and i am drawing more and more of my designs from scratch which is much much easier to do on the ipad than anywhere else and obviously the ipad is portable which means that i can do more designs on the go, um, if and when I need to. Uh, you might be about to hear some thumping because I can see my husband walking up the street with my children, but hopefully they aren't too loud. I might have to go and open the door to let them in. Just a moment, you guys. Look, you guys, my husband just came home with flowers for me for no reason. Aww. <clears throat> Isn't he so cute? Just buy me flowers for nothing. <sighs> I do love him. It's our 10 year anniversary on Monday. No, it was yesterday when you're watching this. <laughs> um, yeah, like dating anniversary, not like our wedding anniversary or anything, but still a bit exciting. We've not got anything planned for it, so I'll let you know whether or not we end up doing anything. <laughs> but we've got all the kids home and no babysitters, so probably not. All right, so Super is getting 50. We are gonna start very slowly trying to build this back up a little bit here and there, um, because I do still wanna make sure that I get $1,000 into there by the end of this year. Uh, tax isn't getting anything. Um, these envelopes, you guys, these new ones, uh, which ones were new? Tech and, <laughs> oh, and YNAB. Oh, and Microsoft. <laughs> they all have a little break line in them that you can see. It's just because I was reusing what I already had. Um, so I already had some blue envelopes from my old setup that were spare. So I pulled the vinyl off of those. And I just used off cuts of the um, sparkly laminate that I had. So they didn't quite fit. So I had to use two 
rows of it. I don't mind that when, like, I would never, ever sell them like that. But when they're just envelopes for me, I don't mind reusing, reduce, reuse, recycle and all that jazz, you guys. Um, so I have started up a um, category for a buffer um, just because I'm putting 50 in here. So 15... Should I do the $10 bonuses or the, no, nah, let's just do another 15. So what's that? 45 and then 50. Um, I just want this for, cause I don't want to spend out of the emergency fund for minor things. So I just want this for like, oh, I urgently need to do a vinyl order, but I haven't got enough money aside to, um, to do it or, yeah, oops, I've run out of paper and I didn't realize I hadn't budgeted for it. So yeah, I just want it there as like, a, like almost like a miscellaneous category. So I will try and build that up to $500 and then the emergency fund up to $500 and then I should be in a pretty good spot, I reckon. Um, and emergency, that's the big and the devil, is getting 150. So I will speed this up for you. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. 50, one for the down to this little guy. Okay, there we go. So we're more than halfway on our emergency fund, which is nice. I just want five hundred dollars in there, and then I will I will keep adding to it, but more slowly, basically. So eventually, I want that to be a one thousand dollar fund because that would be enough to replace any of the equipment I have in there. Five hundred dollars is going to catch me a little bit short if something happened to my Cricut machine or if something happened to my laminator. Um, I have in here one hundred, two hundred, and three hundred dollars now. Um, which, yeah, I mean, I wouldn't even cut it if the printer died again. <laughs> the devil printer. <laughs> Honestly. Why is, I was saying to um, Jen from Budgets and Dreams, why is why are office appliances, like the demon appliances of the appliance world, they're like the least trustworthy appliances in my opinion. Okay, so that is everything for that binder. Our next stop is going to be our Christmas binder. I have set aside, how have I split this money up now? I couldn't tell you. I have set aside um, $40 to go into our Christmas binder. So 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, and 40 is going in here. I am trying to boost this up because Christmas is coming thick and fast, you guys. And I want to make sure I have enough to get my girls the bunk bed that they are literally dying for. So let's start with one of these. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, awesome. The big one. Oh, I've got the money for it. Love it. Okay, I think that's the last big one for this one. So 25 going in here. And this one already, ooh, this one already has a fair bit in it. Let's see, this now has 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, and 90 in there. What is it? A save 140. So definitely getting there. Excellent. And then we've got 15 left. So let's do one of these scratch offs because they only got up to 15. One. Oh, okay then. Well, that was over very quickly, wasn't it? <laughs> That's okay. Um, at least it's in there, so that's good. So we're adding 15 to that one. So that now has 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, and $60 in there. So that's good. We're starting to bulk up in here, which is really exciting. Um, there's more money going in there tomorrow as well. Um, from 
my regular paycheck and I boosted that with a bit of Etsy money too. Okay, so next you guys, I'm gonna introduce you to a new binder. We have a very pretty new binder joining the collection. Now this binder is going to very specifically be saving up for a vacation. Um, so we'll be going on holidays for my 40th and my oldest daughter's 16th. We would like to go somewhere uh, nice together. I'm not sure where yet. It probably won't be international, mostly because we all need passports. So it's going to add a good $1,500 onto our expenses. And also because I don't have passports for my older two children and to get them passports and to travel with them internationally, I need permission from their other biological parent. And that is a particular kind of self-torture that I don't want to put myself through at this point in time. So we're planning on it being a domestic holiday. However, we live in Australia and Australia is beautiful and there are so many amazing places that we can go. So I am not bummed about it. I am totally fine with it. So we're thinking maybe somewhere in the Sundays, maybe Port Douglas. We might head to Western Australia. Hubby and I went to Western Australia really early on in our relationship and absolutely loved it there. Um, but I mean, we only saw a freckle of it compared to what there is to see. So um yeah, one of probably one of those locations is where we'll be heading. If you have any good suggestions, hit it up down below. I am aware that this holiday is going to be expensive, but we have not been on a big holiday as a family in years and years and years. Um, so I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it. So to save up for this epic holiday, I did purchase from Lily at Boss Girl Budgeting. I think she's Boss Girl Budgets on YouTube and Boss Girl Budgeting on Etsy. I'm fairly sure. Um, but look, if you Google that, you'll find her either way. And I will link her below, either her Etsy store or her channel. So I picked up her A Year of Savings, which is her birth flower savings. I got the envelopes and the trackers because cute. Now, I am obviously, I'm going to be starting this right now. So... I'm hoping I will speed through it faster than the months of the actual year. Doesn't bother me. I don't I don't mind. I'll just I will be adding to this as and when I can. This challenge alone saves up. I think it's oh, I think she said 2170 it was somewhere around there. Somewhere around the $2000 mark. In addition to this, I've got a spare envelope at the back here. This will be for I've got it ordered, but it hasn't arrived just yet. Like I literally only just ordered it. It's been dispatched, but it's not here yet. Um, I will have the 2025 challenge by Prince by Carly Studio in here as well. So all of this binder will save us just over $4,000. We will need more than that, but this is our starting <laughs> This is our starting point. I may add other challenges into here as we go. We'll see how we go. Um, but for now, this is what we're dealing with. So we are just adding 25 in today. I think I'm just going to... I'm just going to add to the first challenge as much as I can. And then if I have, you know, say I've got $5 to add and there's no $5 left on here, I'll just add it in wherever I can. I'm not, I'm not worried about staying within the months. So we have 25 to pop in here today. This is so pretty. I think we might go with, oh, which one? I feel like this one's probably going to be too bright. I think we might go with this color for this tracker. So we are coloring off 25 today now this um this binder will not so my debt binder is as much as i possibly can all from etsy income this one won't be this will be income from everywhere and anywhere from savings challenges from mini mondays from wherever i like basically <laughs> um to make sure that we get to our goal so and yeah this will be we're saving for this i want this done by like hopefully the end of next year slash early 2026 because um, that's when we'll be aiming to go away sometime in 2026 so that's what that little lovely is and now without further ado let's get on to our new debt binder setup so we have 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 dollars to pop into this one today um and I have put all new challenges in here so of course it's you know it's October you guys so we're going for a Halloween theme how could we not this cracked me up so much <laughs> i could not i couldn't not have it so this one is from danny at craft co budgets she is in the us but she is an aussie abroad um live laugh toaster bar i loved it i loved it loved it that's so funny uh i then have her easy bake coven which has her little personalized scratch offs on it they, all these hats are scratch off stickers so cool so that's a save 50 the first one's a save 80 
I have this one from, whoops, Steph's on a budget. I was initially going to use these for mini Mondays. I've decided to use it instead for this. These I'm going to do as a roll and save. Um, on my way to stir the pot. It's so funny. Should I go through them all now and then start playing them? Or should I go through them as I'm playing them? Maybe I should do that. Maybe I should do that. Otherwise, you're going to be here for ages. Let's do that. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. Uh, we might move my dice up here so that we've got a tiny bit of space. So what we'll do is we will swap over. We'll just start with $5, will we? Let's see how we go. One, two, three, four, five. It's early days though, so we'll probably need to change over more, but that's okay. We'll live with that. Okay, so we're starting with Live, Laugh, Toaster Bath. And we got a two. Okay, so we're going to pop three into this one. I might, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to, I'm going to change over another five. Is that right? Yeah, and have a couple of trees. Just so that I don't lose all of my single budgie bucks. Because I need them for mini Mondays. I don't want to keep going and stealing them out of, <laughs> out of um, the ones I have ready for sale. Otherwise, my stash gets too big when I don't have them all in here, if that makes sense. Okay, because once I've, or obviously, once I've used them on my channel, I'm not going to sell them. So that's just my stash of buddy books. <laughs> oh, another two. Okay, then. Oh, these are so cute. So, yeah, the whole binder is Halloween themed for this time around. If we can get it finished this month, I mean, would be incredible, but I'm not banking on it. I think the whole binder will save, I think it's like 450 or $500. So easy bake, come and getting a five, um, plus whatever the roll and save save. So I've got a couple of roll and saves in here. So I'm just gonna do this with a six sided. Come on, what's with all the twos? I feel like we need a purple marker for this one. Was it two? It was twos this week on Mini Monday too, wasn't it? Last week, I should say. Whoops. Okay, we're calling that a three. So this one is The Audacity. So I've got the whole um, tarot set from Danny at Craft Co Budgets in here because I just thought they're a vibe, you know, they are a vibe for October. I love tarot. Uh, so another three, I'm going to have to change over so many more budget bucks. All right, I'm going to put these two out and bring over another two. <laughs> that cracks me up so much. Um, yeah, so all the tarot ones are from Danny at Craft Co Budgets. One, two, three, four. I feel like I probably already said that multiple times. So sorry, guys. I don't mean to beat you over the head with it. They're just super cool. Um, I want to make sure that everybody knows where they're from in case they want to get some too. Okay, and then this one I'm just doing... Hang on. This one I'm just doing $2 per icon. We're going to get rid of another five and bring in four, five. Because uh, these ones are just going to be two an icon. So we're just going to do two in there for today. Little pizzas. I feel like pink probably isn't the right colour for a pizza. But it's like the closest that I had to like dough colour. <laughs> Little red pepperonis. Cute. Okay, so $2 in that one. We'll just do one of each because I've only got 35, so we'll see how far we can get. One, two, three. This one is the Drama Queen. My goodness, we're just going to have budgie bucks in all of them, you guys. Perhaps just doing one of each was a bad idea. <laughs> oh, well. Gonna lose this spine during a second. The mum, how good is this? Oops, what are you? Four, one, two, three, four. Should I do a second one in here? What have we got left? 15. Oh, I've still got so many to do though. Okay, we'll just do the one. 
More budgie bucks will be required, I think. Give me five. This one we're <clears throat> This one we're doing as a roll and save as well. We'll just do it with a six sided dice and see how we go. Uh, now, how many more budgie bucks can I get away with? One, two, three, four, five. Uh, so just one going to this one. Oh my goodness. All right, the reader. Two, six. Yay, this one's actually gonna get a five in there. <laughs> Nice. I love the colors in this one. Okay. Spilled it. Tea. Oh, I'm going to lose my, going to lose my binder. It's getting a bit top heavy. Uh, that is a six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Another one. Guys, we're going to be able to do some more in here, but I think we'll start back at the start. Okay, and then this one is just my freebie. You can find it down below from my Google Drive. Um, and I just thought I would use it to round out the thing. So this will save, I think it's $40. I'm just making each icon $2 each. All right, let's head back to the start. We've got $5 left, that's it. Oh dear, let's see. Uh, so we're on this one. Oh, do I go across or down? One, two, three, four. And things down. Okay, three dollars. Cool. So I will take out two and add five. So that one's got six now. I don't, you probably can't see what I'm doing. Sorry, you guys. Oops. Just struggling to get that back in where it lives. Okay, and. Easy bake coven. Oh, can you give me a two? Or should I go to one that has a two? What do you think, you guys? Maybe I should just go to one that has a two. Just then I won't have an IOU. I think I will. I think I'll do that. Sorry, easy bake coven. As much as I desperately want to... Um, which other one did I have that had a two? Maybe I'll just make that back one like my catch-all for twos. Let's do that. Let's do that. It's not going to work if I have a one left over, I guess, but still. All right, that's it, you guys. That's all $35 done and dusted in there, which is a good start. We've got $20 in budgie bucks in there. Can I put that that way? I think I will, because otherwise they fall out of there. Um, yeah. This is the new debt binder. So let's see how quickly we can get through it. I mean, I'm not expecting to burn through it terribly quickly because I am trying to keep more money in my business as a little buffer. Um, and I do want to build my super up a little bit and we are now saving for a holiday as well as Christmas. But let's still try and make some progress every week, hey? Okay, you guys, thank you so, so much for joining me today. I hope this video has not gone too, too long. Um, if you liked it, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe if you haven't already and you're enjoying this content. I will see you all tomorrow for our regular couch stopping. I hope to join you join me then. Okay, I love you. Bye-bye.